So have you ever wondered what it would be like to see through walls? Well, researchers at Stanford University might have just cracked the code on this superpower. This latest work comes from the same team at Stanford that developed a wave-based non-line-of-sight imaging system back in 2019. This camera is capable of seeing around corners by bouncing a laser off the wall and analyzing the reflected light that returns to the sensor. That 2019 goal was to improve optical imaging techniques such as light detection and ranging systems, or LIDAR, which is most often used in ground, underwater, and aerial vehicles to better understand their immediate surroundings. But one of the biggest challenges of LIDAR systems has been trying to peer through hazy conditions, like an autonomous vehicle trying to drive through fog or an orbiting spacecraft looking through the thick atmosphere of another planet. These types of conditions scatter the light way too much for LIDAR systems, making it really tough to detect anything through it. But now the Stanford team has gone one step further by creating Confocal Diffuse Tomography, or CDT, which allows a camera to see right through what they call a scattering media, or they could just call it what it is, it's a thin piece of foam. CDT is a process that uses a single photon avalanche diode and pulsated laser systems to effectively see through a medium. So what exactly does that mean? Let me explain it this way. With a short pulse of light, a laser illuminates a point on a surface. From here, the light diffuses through the foam and onto the surface of your target object on the opposite side. The light from the laser then bounces off the surface of the object and diffuses once again back through the foam and returns to the original point the laser was illuminating. Researchers then used a processing algorithm and their collected data points to produce a histogram, which will show the photon count along the y-axis and the time along the x-axis. So through these points, this helps give researchers their first glimpse of what's actually on the other side. But that's just the first step. In order to get a 3D image, this process has to be done multiple times by scanning a series of points on a grid through a process the team calls confocal scanning. These data points then work together to effectively create a blurry map of the image. Using this, researchers can then apply a specific set of algorithms and light filters to reconstruct the completed 3D image of the target object. And the best part about it is that although this might seem like a really, really long process, this team is actually able to completely reconstruct an image in as little as 0.3 seconds. So how can CDT help us in the future? The research suggests that this form of non-invasive 3D imaging through a medium might just revolutionize the way we approach autonomous vehicle navigation in bad weather like fog and heavy snowstorms. But if we think even bigger, this could probably also help first responders handle emergencies like a firefighter in a burning building. But until then, I'll settle for using this newfound power to be the hide and go seek master. To learn more about the team's research from last year, check it out here. Let us know if you like this video down in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.